Right, so welcome back guys. This is my best life advice that I could ever give you. And this is based off seven hardcore years of personal development, not just that, but crazy shamanic experiences in the jungle here in Bali. Being a coaching trainer to near enough tens of thousands of coaches over 80 countries around the world. It all real boils down to this one single piece of advice I'm gonna give you, which is... Express and explore every part of yourself, no matter what anybody thinks. And there's so much to that. Let's start with language. So express, what do I mean by that? I mean, being able to be your true self without the fear of what people may think of you or without minimizing yourself or without allowing yourself to develop certain characteristics within yourself so that you can fully be the person that you were destined to be. I watched something somewhere somewhere where they said, hell is dying and meeting the person that you could have become, but you didn't. There are so many talents that lay within us, and it sounds so cheesy, that we've never explored or expressed. Say for example, Tiger Woods, the famous golfer, never picked up a golf club. He never explored that part of himself. You know, he never would have become number one golfer in the world. You know, say for example, Picasso had never picked up a art brush. These things are pretty cheesy, but true. There are parts of you that have never been explored, that you've never allowed to be let open, um, that you've never even considered could even be there. And there are parts of you that you know are there, you're keeping them close to your chest because you're worried potentially about what people think. You're worried about fear of failure, rejection, humiliation, embarrassment, and it stops people from living the life they want to live. There are so many different parts of a person. We constantly are minimized and are made to fit into this box by society and by people around us of how we should behave, how we should look, what we should be doing in our lives. The obvious stuff like you should have kids, you should get married, you should have a mortgage, you should get a stable job, all this sort of stuff, right? These are the shoulds. You shouldn't have tattoos because they make you look bad and they stop you from getting a job. You shouldn't be too much and, you know, get over it and be strong and stop crying and, you know, pull yourself together when you've got a real intense emotion that you really want to let out in that moment. I'm saying that to you because I'm also saying it to myself. I'm not a preacher. I'm not somebody who claims to be perfect. In fact, quite a lot of the stuff that I say, I struggle with myself. There are parts of me I'm scared to let out into the world. And I say that because I want you to understand that we're all the same. The fact that we're all different makes us all the same. I tell you what, I've coached and trained and spoke to so many people over the years. And what I realize is, although the scenarios are slightly different, the feelings, the thoughts that go on inside are all very, very similar. We are here for such a tiny amount of time Probably people watching this are probably already a third of the way through their life. Maybe you're two weeks away from death. As morbid as that might be, that is the truth. And if you sit in denial and suppress and minimize yourself and worry about the fear of rejection, which is one of the biggest fears, then you're opening yourself up to something far worse, far worse than rejection. And that's regret. Not finding out the person that you could have been, not doing the things that you could have done, not making the impact that you could have made. When I was younger, I wanted to be an actor and I was sexually abused and I'm using that as a story. Really, I'm scared because I want it so much. I fear doing it in case it doesn't go to plan. Just like everybody else's story. I've gone through my mindset development within my business pretty well to the point where I'm able to help other people, but it does not mean that I don't need my own coach in my own areas. When I explore a new area, I'm starting at ground one again. So I have ex things inside of me that I want to express that I don't express, but I also do a lot that I do express, which is what puts me in a position to be able to share this with you. And also because I've had the realization of how important it is, regardless of whether I'm doing it or not, but I never want to be the hypocrite to pretend that I'm perfect. So I always like to share with you, this is us, this is we. This isn't me telling you what to do because I'm perfect and I'm better than you and you should do what I do. This is us in the same life, in the same human experience, trying to navigate it in the same way. And I'm trying to figure this stuff out. And as I figure it out, I want you to come with me. So let's go back to it. My number one piece of advice is to express and explore every part of yourself without giving a f about what anybody else thinks. I've said it time and time and time again, but in three generations from now, anyone that would have ever known you will be dead, along with everybody that stopped you from doing the things that you wanted to do with your life. All that really, really matters is what we spend our time doing on this planet. And if you look at the timeline of what has existed before us and what may exist after us, it's a microscopic piece of sliver of time that we have on this planet that's fleeting by every single day. An exercise you can do is get a piece of paper and put on there 70 squares. So to do 10 and then seven and then do that and then that. Press pause and come back. Now what I want you to do is I want you to cross out all of the squares of the age that you are, the years that have passed and do that. So I'll let you do that. Press pause, quickly do that. Welcome back. Now look down at that piece of paper. Those squares is the time that you've already used. The rest of the squares is the average life expectancy. And towards the end of those years, you're gonna be spending them doing much more than sitting in front of the TV, chilling out with a, with a sore back, depending on how old you are, I guess. How many good years have we got? 
I mean, I'm a re re relatively young man. I'm 32 years old. How many good years? I might have one. I had a seizure a few months ago where I went blue, had a cardiac arrest and had to have CPR done on me until I came back to life. I've got a form of epilepsy that triggers something called SUDEP, which is sun sudden unexplained death via epilepsy, which means I could just die in my sleep one day. I don't know how much time I've got. You don't know how much time you've got. But even if you was to live to your average life expectancy or beyond, it's so small. And after that time's up, what's going to matter? Nothing. Nothing that she said on Facebook 50 years ago. Nothing that that guy's opinion had down the pub. Nothing that Karen said around the photocopier at work. Nothing will matter other than what you did in this world. It's every piece of you. Explore the creative side, the logical side, the business, the masculine side, the feminine side. If you're a man, maybe embrace your emotions more. That's something I'm working on. I want to be able to cry. I want to be able to feel. It feels so dull in there sometimes but I'm working on expressing that more and more and more. That's my goal. If you're used to feeling, but you're not using your brain, start to use your brain more. If you want to dance, dance. Whatever you want to do, do it. Explore that part of yourself, express that part of yourself, and just know that no one's opinion matters other than yours. And when you can get into that state, where you are exploring and, ex and expressing yourself. That is liberating, that is freeing. If you are, if the shackles are taken off and you are no longer bound by the opinions and the judgment uh, of other people, you are free to be, say, and do whatever you want without any fear of the consequences of what people may be saying about you behind your back. And you can truly live life. And then do you know what? You realize that those opinions didn't matter anyway. They never did and they never will. Those people, most of the time, are losers. Talking about you because they've got nothing better else to talk about. And trying to drag you down to their level because they can't get up to where you're trying to get to. There is so much inside of you. So many elements, so many facets, so many ideas. Explore them, express them. And always remember you're in control and you are enough, have enough, and you are loved enough. I'm Lewis Raymond Taylor and I'm going to show you how to create a freedom-based online coaching business from scratch.